Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and, well, this happens to me all the time. I find a cheap padlock on eBay that I really, really want. It's like this kryptonite 70mm discus padlock, and um, it just happens to come with um, a chain, a security chain. Um, I've got a collection of these 10mm hardened steel chains and 40mm hardened steel chains, which just came with padlocks I wanted. Clearly they're like a two-piece set, but... Um, yeah, it's just a bit annoying. I mean, I only buy them when it's ridiculously cheap. Um, but yeah, there you go. Well, I suppose it provides quite a nice little background to the video, so let's keep it there. Um, and here it is, a hardened steel shackle, which feels very, very locked in, very little movement, unless you push it really hard, and then you can just get some movement, there we go, on it. In fact, that is um, born through to using the key, where um, it's, doesn't turn easily until you turn it quite hard and then the shackle releases. I think that there is either a, a, a some kind of shackle or core um, locking mechanism like a sprung ball bearing which means you have to use enough torque to overcome it to allow the shackle to rotate round. Um, that does actually impact picking because you have to work against that uh, locking mechanism should, should I say to um, allow yourself to put tension on the pins and pick it open. The key itself, well, it's not particularly great bitting. Um, pins one, two, and four out of these five pins are relatively low cut with medium cuts on pins three and five, which is a bit of a shame, but it is actually my favorite type of cut for a key. This sort of flat cut with these little peaks. I don't know why it's my favourite, but I am a lock nerd, so I suppose I'm allowed one, and I don't even feel bad for it. Right, so as I said, that locking mechanism needs to have some um, impressive amounts of tension to overcome it, so I'm just going to put um, both fingers around the top of this quite sturdy wire tensioner, put my pick in, apply tension, And if you don't feel anything, stop and readjust until you get that tension on those pins. Okay, pin five, pin three, and touch on one, and we are open. So clearly this is not a particularly secure lock. I could not feel any um, uh, spool pins in there. And with those very low cuts on the key, I would expect a spool pin to work. If they were very high cut, then I'd expect the spool pins to um, maybe act like a standard pin, but a bitting like that, very, very disappointing, I have to say. Um, should we have a go at raking it, just with, I don't know, like a city rake or something? Um, a bitting like that means, and if it is standard pins, means that this should be, um, I guess, possible. Here we go. And there we go, it's open. So a bit rough inside there, but it did work and I haven't bent my uh, city rake, so everybody's good. Um, so yeah, just not a particularly impressive lock. Most kryptonite padlocks that I've ever picked have spool pins in. This one, uh, apart from its form factor, which I do like, the discus padlock, um, you know, they, they are quite good against physical attacks. Um, Apart from the form factor, isn't really much going for this um, padlock at all, I have to say. All right, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching that at least. Um, a lot of kryptonite padlocks that I've picked in the past have stood up a lot better than this one. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.